Trash, yeah, looking like a trap when I walk in the building. That mean I got something expensive. Know my friends, they killin'. All these hoes, I'm killin'. Nigga came from a dope dealer. Dirt bike four wheeler. Come to the street, I'm feelin'. What's good, PP fam? So today, I'm gonna be doing a story time of when I got caught by the Popo. So during this time, I was the age of 14 to 17, so I was like in middle school, high school, and I was always with my two friends, and what we did in back home in New York, we used to always go around the city, see events, uh, eat food, play ball, you know, the usual. So as you guys know, everywhere we go, we took a subway, and if you guys don't know what a turnstile is, a turnstile is pretty much um, a machine that you put pretty much you put money on a metro card, which is a card that they give you, and you swipe and go through a machine in order to go on a subway. Pretty much, me and my friend never did that. We pretty much jumped over. We never got caught. Stupid. So it was like, all right, you know, nobody's gonna know until this day. These are their stories. During this time, we were in Brooklyn, and we were just walking around Brooklyn, near the Brooklyn Bridge, you know, seeing stuff we never saw. And then we were like, alright, let's go to Times Square, let's go to Manhattan, you know, let's see what's there. So, we went towards the subway station, and what I realized was, there was a Brooklyn Bridge, and there was a police station, in the middle there was a subway. So... Back then, we didn't care. We're like, alright, let's go. You know, let's jump over the thing. But knowing now, I should have thought, alright, it should be strict as hell because you're between two important things in the city. And, you know, we went down the subway. We pretended we got a metro card. As soon as we were about to jump over the trunk, uh, the, the turnstile, uh, pretty much, um, I saw these two doors, and they look abandoned, and I'm like, alright, it looks like nobody even goes in there. So, you know, I jumped over first, and my other friend jumped over second. So me and him ran downstairs, by the time we ran downstairs, we got, uh, someone saying, Guys, stop. Turn around. Come back up here. And we turned around, we're like, what? Because we were wondering where our other friend went. As soon as he said that, we were like, okay, that was weird. So we turned around, and we saw a cop with my other friend by the shirt. And he like, come up here, I'm a cop down there. If you guys don't come up here, and get arrested. And we're like... So we ended up going back upstairs, and the cop was like, Alright, why did you guys do that? We pretty much were like, uh, we didn't want to pay for it. And the cop was like, But it's 250 You can't pay 250 Like, we were kind of like, stupid for not like giving him a good reason. Because we didn't want to pay for it at all. And he's like, Alright, let me see that ID. And. You know, while we were about to give him the ID, the other cop came upstairs. And before that, I thought he was just, you know, joking. Like, I thought he was like, oh, yeah, another cop down there. Actually, the cop coming up, and I was like, oh, crap. I hope he doesn't, like, arrest us. I gave him my ID. My other friend gave, gave his ID. My other friend didn't... Stupid. He was stupid. He didn't have the ID on. You always have your ID on. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, I have my ID. Cop like, why? He like, uh, and the cop like, you know I can arrest you. My friend's like, uh, no. And he kept trying to talk back to the cop. And the cop like, can you stop? I can arrest you. Like, he was so chill. I was shocked. Some cops are like ass, you know what I mean? And But he was so chill, so nice to us. He's like, all right, guys, I'm going to give you a fine of $100. And I was like, The cop Wait, is there a problem? I'm like, no. And he's like, I can either arrest you or you can pay a $100 fine. And I was like, 
So he let us go. We got our ticket. We went back to uh, Queens, where I'm from, and we were like, wait, why did this place close? Because it, it was in Brooklyn, and we didn't realize it was in Brooklyn. So it was like around 5, 6 o'clock at night by the time we got back to Queens, and we were like, oh, crap. Yo, let's go and pay for it straight up there. And we're like, yeah, let's go. So, we were about to go back on subway. We're like, nah, it's going to take too long to get back. Because it takes like an hour from Queens to Brooklyn on a subway. But like, right, let's drive. It's only a half hour. So, we drove uh, where the car was in Queens to Brooklyn or where the place was. And as soon as we got there, we were 10 minutes late. And um, we pretty much, like... We were so pissed. We're like, bro, how are we gonna pay for this? So we drove back home. We dropped my friend off. We dropped my other friend off. And I went home. And when I got home, I was like, Ma? She was like, What? You do drugs? You drink? You drive? Uh. I was like, No. She like, What is it? I'm like, uh, I got a ticket. She's like, how? I said, well, you know, this and this. I told her what happened. And she was like, oh, you paid for it. I'm like, oh, you ain't mad? She's like, no, you paid for it. You work. And I'm like, can you help me? So my mom was like, no. So I ended up paying for it, I was cool with it, you know. And then my other two friends, one of them, his dad was mad, but he was like, all right, you know, pay for it. And my other friend, he couldn't go out. He was like, in the house for a month. Because, yeah, that's the time I got caught by the police. You know, thank God I get arrested. Cause, you know, that would've been pretty bad. And my mom would honestly kick my butt if I honestly got arrested. As you guys know, like and comment down below and if you're new here subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace